My name is David Villahermosa, team lead for the Sets UBR and URC team. And we are... A rover is inspired by the Sherpa rover and it currently weighs 43 kilograms considering the payload. It measures 1.08 meters in length and width and 0.8 meters in height. One of our innovations is that the rover minimizes cost with 70% of our components done through additive manufacturing. Our payload uses safety pins to attach them for easy access. Our wheels are composed of two layers. The outer layer comprises an airless tire constructed from thermoplastic polyurethane, a flexible material enabling deformation for overcoming obstacles, and an interior layer which is made of nylon 6 that provides sufficient rigid support that enables the outer layer to adapt to the objects encountered during the missions. To steer our rover, we have implemented a skid steering system where we control each motor independently. Our suspension system also acts independently with the steering connected with an aluminum control arm. The suspension system is composed of a spring acting as a dampener and is attached to the corners of the chassis to have greater ground coverage. To power our rover, we will use a 22.2 volt battery that will be connected to our power distribution board, which features two DC to DC converters that will step down the voltage to 12 volt and 5 volt, as well as a buck converter that will step up to 19 volts. We have our 5 volt ports that will be used for the microcontrollers and cameras, the 12 volt port for the steering and motors, and the 19 volt port for the main processing unit, as well as a 24 volt port for our communication system. Our science payload will be composed of two parts. First, our sample catching system will use an auger drill to collect a solo sample, which will then be inserted into our science suite. The sample catching system will also be accompanied by a humidity and temperature sensor that will analyze the area where the sample is collected. In combination with the sampling system, an Arducam will give us a closer look into the composition and mineralogical components of the sample. Once the sampling system collects the sample, it's inserted into our science suite carousel where a chemical reaction using a lysis buffer will free all intracellular ATP found within the sample, followed by using a luciferin reagent which induces bioluminescence that will be measured by a luminometer at a wavelength of 560 nanometers, giving us the information needed to determine the biological content of the sample. The robotic arm module was designed to replicate as much movement as a human arm to interact with its environment and stay within the constraints of movement and stability within the rover module. The arm is capable of 1.2 meters of reach, with RoboClaws controlling its 5 degrees of freedom, 3 degrees controlling arm and joint positioning, and 2 controlling the gripper end effect, one for rotational position and the other controlling appendage contraction and expansion. For the autonomous mission, the rover will be equipped with a Z stereo camera which can stream images in real time and implements image processing for object detection and recognition. To navigate the rover, we will use simulation software such as Arviz for data visualization and with onboard libraries and algorithms, the rover will perform autonomous tasks such as finding the optimal path or object detection to complete the mission in the shortest time possible. Our communication system is composed of two ubiquity nanostation monopole antennas. One will be mounted on the rover and the other will be mounted in the command station. These antennas are high range radio transceivers making them very efficient for long distance communication in which the rover antenna will connect to our onboard processor, the Jetson Orin, and will be the avenue to provide all the information needed for remote navigation and controls. We are immensely proud of the significant strides our team has made in developing the first semi-autonomous rover and robotic arm in the history of the University of Puerto Rico at Mayagüez. We extend our heartfelt gratitude to our sponsors for their unwavering support throughout this journey. Let's continue to pave the way for inclusivity and innovation in space exploration. <laughs>